Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is another beautiful day right here in gorgeous Northeast Florida. That is Jacksonville, St. Johns County, St. Augustine, Fernandina, Palm Coast. We have so many different cities right here in beautiful Northeast Florida. Now, I know many of you have been reaching out, wanting to know just a little more insider tips on this area. So that's what we're gonna unpack in this video. Some things you should know before you settle on Northeast Florida. That way, because sometimes people will visit other parts of Florida, like South Florida or Central Florida or West Florida, and they may have some preconceived notions that are not true about Florida based on their experiences in other regions. But I'm gonna give you the inside scoop on some of the things that come with this Northeast Florida lifestyle. Stay tuned and be sure to push like and subscribe decision. We jump into all the details of some of the things that you need to know before making Northeast Florida home. I just want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you for those that have gone out of your way to watch these videos every week, to like, to subscribe, to leave comments, and most importantly, all of you that have reached out and given me the opportunity to be your trusted Florida real estate advisor. I cannot thank you enough. It has truly been an honor to work with many of you families from all over the world and help you relocate here to Northeast Florida to make this beautiful place home. So thank you. Again, those that are new to this channel, my name is Kashira Francis, AKA Francis. I am a licensed Florida real estate agent. I lived here for over 20 years. Um, as a teacher here for, oh my God, 13 years, worked for home builders. So I'm able to provide you a lot of insider tips on the different areas here, our five different counties, and to make sure you get paired up in the right home, in the right community, at the right budget for you. So don't hesitate to reach out. All right, that was my commercial. All right, let's dive into some of the details of things that you need to know. Okay. One of the first things that you need to know about Northeast Florida, it is massive. So sometimes people will visit one part of Northeast Florida and kind of just be like, no, like they'll visit downtown Jacksonville. They'll be like, absolutely not. Or they'll visit St. Augustine and be like, no, it's not my flavor. But please know, Northeast Florida is over 3,500 square miles. It can literally take you from one from the beach to, say, the country, to Callahan, etc. It could take you over an hour and a half, not just with traffic, just with no traffic, an hour and a half to get from one side to the other. Remember, Jacksonville is a city that has is the largest city in the United States of America as far as square miles. Not population. It's not like the super congested, but it does. It is very wide. It's massive. And so you really need to be working with someone that really understands the different areas, the different options. The last thing you would want to do is buy a house, get settled somewhere, and to know that there is a better option in another county for you. So that's why it's important that you really work with somebody that knows the area, that knows the different counties and knows the different offerings. And it's going to be very important that you get really clear about what you're looking for, because we have so many options. We have, you can live out on the farm, you can live on the beach, you can live in the river, you can live in the city, <laughs> you can live in one of our master plan communities. Communities. Like we literally have so many different real estate options that other parts of Florida do not necessarily give you as we do here. Okay. So other great things that you need to know about Northeast Florida, it's one of the last more affordable areas here in Florida that offer you beach access as well as river access. It's one of the selling points that have sold many people on Northeast Florida. Another great selling point of Northeast Florida is that we're not, it's not hot here year round. Okay. So a lot of people have ended up selling, settling here in Northeast Florida because I've actually had a lot of people, um, at least three families move here from South Florida because they said it feels like Groundhog Day where it's literally hot all the time. Here in Northeast Florida, we experience a change of seasons. So we do have some days where at least I would say 12 to honestly 17 to 18 days out of the year where you might need a coat and you might can put on the little boots. Now it won't be long, but we do have times where you will, it will get chilly here in Northeast Florida. And some people just like the break of, from the heat. And so that's what we offer here in Northeast Florida. Northeast Florida and just things that you should keep in mind, because again, it was not hot here year round, is that we have, we're less storm prone. So if you see with most of the storms, as far as hurricanes, as we're in Northeast Florida, storms hitting say from the islands and coming up from miami on by the time they get to us they're just rain or they're no more than 
basically a category one, which is rain for us, okay? And you'll notice that once you talk to residents that actually live here, and I have a video where you can actually hear from residents and hear from some of my clients that bought a home here in Northeast Florida, um, their experience of going through hurricanes here, like our form of so-called hurricanes is really just rain and wind. Okay, I mean, so much so that another thing you should know about Northeast Florida before you move here and settle in is that our standard construction as far as homes are standard, new construction in particular are built with wood frame. So we have a concrete slab, wood frame. Now, I know you may be thinking, oh my gosh, I know people from other parts of the country think immediately freak out. <laughs> like, but y'all have storms. Why don't you have like concrete and brick? Because we're less storm averse, building codes have allowed for wood frame. Now in spe special parts of Northeast Florida, like Palm Coast, where they're closer to the coast, they have more um, concentration of concrete block homes than wood frame homes, okay? But for the most part here in Northeast Florida, you're gonna get a wood frame home. Now, of course we have historic homes we have homes that are you know have been built over the last 15 years that may be concrete block or all brick we do have a variety of options but especially new construction is going to be wood frame unless you're doing a highly custom house okay so let's jump into some other things that you need to know about northeast florida now if you're finding this video helpful so far please be sure to show your support by pushing like and subscribe there's so much more to come so you want to be sure to stay tuned don't forget to push like and leave a comment which point stood out to you the okay, most thank you for those Thanks that again. went ahead and pushed like for me i really appreciate you it helps get this video out to more people like yourself that needs this information so thank you for pushing like so let's jump into some other things that make northeast florida a little distinctive from other parts of florida which is our extensive medical options between having mayo clinic here and as you know there's only a few i think there's only i forgot i think it's five to seven in the whole United States and we have one here in Northeast Florida Mayo Clinic of course as you know it's an extensive research hospital that's where my dad got his open heart surgery and thankfully he is doing well he's recovered he's full of jokes <laughs> and so thank you Mayo Clinic for saving my dad okay and so they have the Baptist Cancer Center they have extensive some of the top rated heart hospitals in this in area they have Wolfson Children Hospital Nemours Children Hospital they have so many different medical options here another thing that may be a drawback for some of you when it comes to Northeast Florida we know the medical is good but we have a limited public transportation I'm just gonna be honest guys our public transportation here it sucks <laughs> <laughs> just gonna be honest sorry Jacksonville Transportation Authority we really don't have very good public transportation so just be prepared to come with your own car okay okay other things that you need to know about Northeast Florida that's a little different than other parts of Florida it is definitely a much slower place than what you would experience say in Orlando or even Fort Lauderdale or say Miami or some at Boca Raton um, things close here pretty early. So Florida is the only state where they say that more north you go, the more southern it feels. But here in Northeast Florida, it's definitely a slower pace of life than what you would experience, say, in Miami or Boca Raton or, or Fort Lauderdale, where everybody's out till 3 a.m. We go to bed here, okay? <laughs> I'm just letting you know. So our politics here um, in Northeast Florida is leans closer to conservative okay I'm just gonna be honest with you now there are certain parts typically if you're like in the Riverside Avondale area in Jacksonville or if you're living at like Atlantic Beach or Jack's Beach where people are maybe not as conservative but for the most part a little more conservative so if you're on one side of the fence if you're one extreme to the other you may not find your exact tribe here. I don't know, okay? Come test it out and see for yourself, all right? So I hope this just gives you a little bit of an overview of the things that you need to know about Northeast Florida before moving here, okay? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this inside peek into some of the things that you need to know before moving here and settling in Northeast Florida. This is a big area, okay? And please know I'm here to make sure you get paired up in the right part of Northeast Florida 
in the right community, in the right home, at the right budget for you and your family. Don't hesitate to reach out. There's some really great deals going on right now, especially with more inventory have coming on the market and with builders offering great rate buy downs of 4.9. We have something for you here. Don't hesitate to reach out. This is Francis signing off and I got one more video for you on moving to Florida. So be sure to watch that. And I look forward to hearing from you. Now, if you want to be sure to stay connected and find out all the great local information as well as the great places to eat, you want to be sure to connect to our Find Homes by Francis Facebook page. There you'll get all the local latest scoops and information. Stay tuned and catch us on Facebook.